All right, folks, a little bit of wind today. Hope it's not too bad, but we put in a grasshopper this morning. We are trying to figure out some fish for the open series tomorrow, as I said yesterday. Hopefully we can find something. Today I've caught, so far I've caught one, two and a quarter, two and a half, and that's all. I had one more bite, looked like a smaller one, like a pound and a half that I lost. And now we are jumping around, trying to find something, trying to find a little bit of warmer water, trying to find the right color stain. So hopefully we'll figure something out. Stay tuned, today we're gonna to try to not get too many bites, but figure out where to get some bites so tomorrow I can really soak in the area and figure out where I want to fish. So stay tuned, tomorrow's the tournament. Look at him peeing. Red lips, little mouth, healthy fish, man, super healthy fish. And he bit my favorite lures. So I forgot to press record. Just caught another nice one. Nice fish right there. Finally got me one in current. Mainly this, lately it's been, you need to be out of the current to catch them. That's pretty typical when the water gets below 50. They really, really don't like to be fighting that current. Look how white that spot is. Usually spots have real pretty colors. This one is solid dang white, pretty much. Albano. Take one every 10 minutes. Get them get a little bigger though. That was on that old rubber scope. Every 10 minutes, another fat one. Smoked it. I'm gonna see what she weighs. Three six. Found me a good area. In the past hour, I probably caught ten. Probably caught seven, not ten. But we gotta find an area like this that's full of five pounders, what we need. Okay, so I just made one small change, very small change. And the first bite I get is like a four and a half pounder. He missed it. But well he ate it, somehow I missed him and didn't get it good. But the first bite I got was a four and a half pounder after making that small change. So hopefully that was the deal. Got 
smaller. Still fun to catch them like that though. Another nice one. Just fat little pretty fish. I actually tried to break it off that time just to see if I could. And obviously that's why I set the hook so gently with that line. Okay, so that last fish, I got the bite, and I thought that rod was so limber, and that was 20 pound line. I thought if I set the hook as hard as I could, I would not break off. So that's what I did on purpose, and I did break off. That line was old. I should have changed that line. <laughs> oh well, I broke that fish off. Anyways, midday update, catching numbers. Haven't caught any big ones, had a four and a half pounder bite, had like a three and a half pound smallmouth, and a bunch of little ones. But we're catching a lot of fish, and you never know this time of year, where you catch males today, females could just pull in there tomorrow. So, I'm gonna try something right here. Probably gonna throw a chatterbait a little bit right here, see if I can catch some, and hopefully catches a big and around. Just catch more keepers, give me a little more confidence in the area anyways. Okay, so I left the lake with the cover off because I thought I had to work on some batteries. My batteries were completely dead today. I think I figured I overly discharged them. A lot of times if you run your batteries dead and then keep running them for a while, you'll take them down below, I think it's like, nine volts if you take a 12 volt battery below nine volts almost no battery charger will pick it up and actually charge it it'll think it's just a dead cell so you have to actually have to jump it off and get it back so or you can hook them parallel hook the battery cables to the good battery hook them in parallel to the one that's not working and it'll charge it that way so i thought i'd have to mess with that so i called the tournament director told him about it he said i didn't have to come to the meeting because i was having battery issues so then we got home retied everything in the boat got to put line on a couple reels and then we are going to the tournament tomorrow so Practice today was not that bad. Caught a bunch of fish. No big ones. Obviously nothing I want, but I did find a way to get some bites. You never know what is going to bite tomorrow. So hopefully we'll catch some big ones, some four and five pounders. We need five, five pounders pretty much to win. At least that much. So that's the plan. Everything's done. Line on a couple reels, and we're going to head out in the morning. Appreciate you guys watching. As always, leave a like, leave a comment, hit that sub button. If you like these videos, share them. Let everybody know about these videos. Appreciate it, guys. See y'all later.